Matty, welcome to Celtic. It's been a couple of days since you since you officially signed. Just sort of start us off with with what your first thoughts are, sort of on the move. Uh, well, I got contacted by Sai the gaffer uh, a couple of weeks ago. No, it was about a month ago, and uh, I was obviously chatting with him and all about my career basically. And the past few years, it's not been it's not been the best. I'll be honest with you, but. Um, it, obviously, with the injury and stuff and not playing, it's it sort of got me down. And I sort of fell out of love with the game, but Simon's assured me that I'm coming to play games and and that's what it's about for me now at my age, especially where I am in my career. So do you see sort of moving to Celtic as a sort of platform to, to get going again? Yeah, exactly that. that that's that's the main thing now for me. I, want, I just want to play football. I've, uh, I've spent a lot of time on the sidelines and it's... And it's and it probably has affected me, but you know I'm, I can't wait to get going. Obviously, leaving Chester, it's a club you've been at uh, for a couple of different spells, and you know you have lots of you lots of have lots of friends there. Was it sort of nice to see the reaction online from Chester from fans and sort of staff as well? Yeah, yeah, it was lovely. It's, it's obviously hard to leave a club that's that's so close to my heart. You know, after a few spells there, a few years, I've met I've met some you know friends for life there and. I'll definitely be back, but it's uh, it, it everything comes to an end sooner or later. But yeah, it's been it's been it's been really positive. And sort of on to joining Celtic. I know you said that you you had a chat with the gaffer, um, presumably you had a sort of quick look around the stadium as well. When you were when you had a chat, was it were you sort of agreed on sort of what you both want to get out of the season in terms of you know finishing as high as possible in the league? Yeah, exactly that. That that's that's the main aim for for myself and and another gaffers. As well, so but yeah, that that that's what we we're, we're striving for. We're striving to to get back up there. So I had a, I had a quick look through our archives, and I think you played against Celtic. So firstly, for Fylde, you you scored in a five 0 win against Celtic in October 2015, and then you came off the bench at Bowerfold um, back in April 2016 in a one all draw. Um, I know they were both a long time ago, but do you remember anything from those games? I, I I sort of remember it, but it's like I say, it's a long it's it's a long time ago, so I can't really I can't really remember to be honest. No worries. Um, obviously, when you were playing for for Fylde and Fleetwood and things, um, you were playing at a high level, sort of than where Staley Bridge is. Staley Bridge is at now. Um, do you still think you can sort of you know, compete and play at a high level? Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's it's all about you know giving the chance and and then like a consistent run of games. To get back up to match fitness, I fit. Yeah, definitely. I still, I still think I could play higher, but it's. I'm just concentrating on this season. And for those who sort of don't sort of know you in general, what what sort of a what sort of a striker are you? Um, well, I've been I've been described as the best defensive striker. If I could, if I could add add a lot of goals to my game, I'd I'd probably be higher. But it's it's one of them. I work hard. You know, I'm I'm a I'm sort of like a rat. If you, uh, I just thought stop running. It's simple as that. And I was going to say you've been at sort of a few different clubs. Is is it important to have sort of a sort of a good and close dressing room? Is that something that you've experienced at previous clubs? Yeah, you know the the lads at Chester and at the previous clubs. Yeah, I think everywhere I've been at, I've always had a good set of lads. And obviously the gaffers, I've spoke to the gaffer, and he said that they've got a good group here. So. I'm looking forward to getting in there and, and mixing things up with them. And you're sort of quite an, quite an experienced player. Is that something that you can sort of bring with you in terms of whether we have any sort of younger players in the squad over the season? Are you able to sort of sort of give them a give them a bit of advice? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there, there was there's a lad at Chester, Will Goodwin. He's moved on to Stoke now. He, he was he was unbelievable when he come in. You know, I give him little tips and advice. Not sure he took it on board, even if he did. But he, he was he. He was a good little player, so yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely be encouraging and, and helping them, the young boys out. I don't know if you've seen Will's goal last season when he was with us. He, he scored a really good goal um, against Atherton, um, and he, he only played a couple of games before he got injured. But he, he made a really good impression whilst he was here. Yeah, he's 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 a big lad and he's strong for a, for a young age, and you could see the potential in him as soon as he came into the first team. You know, he was he, he was he just he, he didn't care. He didn't care, and, and that's that's the attitude that that most managers like. And from your sort of overall career, do you have a do you have a favourite moment or do you have a favourite sort of game that you've played in? Ooh, um, 
probably. Oh, that's a tough one. I'd say we. I'd say when we went to Millwall, we filed. You know that stands out a little bit. But you know, my time at Fleetwood was was also good at Wembley. You know, even though I didn't get to kick the ball, but it was just a surreal experience. It was, it was crazy to be honest. I don't really remember much of it because I, I think I just got drunk in the bar afterwards. <laughs> um, I saw a couple of people on on Twitter sort of. Uh, I think you just go a goal against Kidderminster. Someone said that was a that was a really good goal. Yeah, yeah, I just sort of ran it down the line. Chop back inside, took on a couple of players and hit into the roof of the net. It's it's just it was one of them. It just, I just I was going straight for goal. There was no stopping me. I think I scored. I think I scored an header that game as well, which is very rare for me. Um, obviously, many players, well, players in general, haven't been playing football much over the last twelve months. Um, you joined Lancaster sort of last season, but didn't get to sort of feature due to the the pandemic. Does that mean sort of? I know from myself and the rest of the staff and the fans were sort of raring to go. Sort of that made you a bit more eager and to get going. Really, are you sort of counting down the days to pre-season? Yeah, I can't. I can't wait. You know, it's it's not the same. You know, going out for runs on your own and stuff like that. And, and it's it's a lot different. Obviously, with with our current climate, it's it's a nightmare. But yeah, I can't wait to to just kick a ball. <laughs> And um, last of all, have you got anything to sort of say to the Celtic Celtic fans? Um, just let's have a good season and get behind the boys. <laughs>